Hey guys, Technomentary with a simple informational video for you guys on how to remove and insert a SIM card into your iPhone 8 Plus or any iPhone that you guys have. So this is going to be a similar method for any iPhone that you guys have. But if you have never done it, it can be a little confusing. So I wanted to make this video for you guys. A lot of viewers have been asking me how do they do that. So this video will be helpful to do that. Also, if you guys are new to our channel, we do a lot of tech reviews, news, and then giveaways of new phones and electronics. So make sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys know when we're doing those giveaways. So to do this, it's pretty straightforward. What you're going to do is if you have a new phone or if you bought a phone, find the manual or the instruction booklet. Take inside it. If you open it up, you'll notice there's something called a SIM ejector tool which looks like this you're going to want to keep that safe somewhere and for in the future as well if you guys are looking to do the same thing or if you switch carriers a lot or travel internationally if you don't have that for the same tool you can always take a paper clip and bend it like this and it becomes similar to that or if you don't even have that Find a year old earring that you don't mind if this breaks off or something you can also do that make sure it's very thin and it could fit in this hole that you will notice on the side of the phone is where the SIM tray is. So we're going to take our official SIM ejector tool, find the hole and then put it in the hole and then push it in and it should hear a little pop and then you'll have the SIM popped out. So once you have the SIM popped out, you're going to want to find this little cut edge. So I don't know if you can see there's a cut edge. This is going to be helpful because when you take your SIM card, the SIM card also has that cut edge. So here I have a Verizon SIM card. As you see, it has the cut edge as well. So I'm going to take my SIM card here, align it up together with that edge, and it will be flush, flush smoothly onto the SIM tray. So once you have that, you're going to want to do is insert the SIM card in. So I'm going to go ahead and same way, line up the hole that you Take the SIM card out and, and give it 10, 20 seconds or so, and you'll go from no service to the service, the SIM card that you put in. Now this phone is ready for service. I can make calls, text, or use cellular data. So that's a pretty straightforward thing to do. But if the SIM card isn't reading, there's a couple of troubleshooting tips I want to share with you guys. First thing you want to do is turn off the phone by holding the power button on the side here till you get the slide to power off on your iPhone 8 plus turn it off and then turn it back on and give and this time it should read the sim card if that doesn't help what you're going to want to do is make sure the sim card isn't damaged or anything like that sometimes when you take a sim card out from one device to another they can get damaged if that's the case get a new sim card from your carrier next thing what you want to do is simply let your carrier know if it didn't activate that you do have a new phone and you need to get the IME number added or the phone added to their system. What that means is simply you can go into, let me put in the password from my device here so I can show you guys. What you're going to want to do is go into settings and once you're in settings, you're going to go to general in general you're going to go to about in the about page you're going to find what's known as an ime number you're going to give them that number that's a unique identifier for your device they can add to their system so that they know that's your phone and they can start pushing out the service to your device and then the next thing i want to let you guys know is that another issue you might encounter is compatibility right so if you have a phone that's for example if i have this phone that's for verizon and i try to put a t-mobile sim card in because now i switch to t-mobile it's not going to work because you're going to have an issue of compatibility which means that phone is locked to verizon and if i have verizon and i paid off the phone i can simply ask them to unlock the phone for me they'll do that if you paid out your contract if you bought the phone through a contract if you didn't pay it out, you're going to have to pay it out to get it unlocked. 